Good morning, boys and girls. Today we are on page 195, page 195, and our objective today says, today I will use the doubles strategy and the doubles plus one strategy to make easier and known sums. So we're moving on to something new today. It's, we're gonna be using called something called the doubles strategy and the doubles plus one strategy. Okay, so let's look at our vocabulary. And it says doubles fact, an equation where both add-ins are the same. So here we have two and two. Now doubles are things that you kind of need to learn your doubles. So another doubles fact, we can write some doubles facts out here. We have one plus one, my add-ins are both the same, would be two. They already did two plus two for us. We could write four. Another add-in would be three plus three. I'm sorry, another doubles. Three plus three is six. We're gonna write a whole bunch of them out here. Four plus four would be eight. Five plus five would be 10. Six plus six would be 12. Seven plus seven would be 14. We're getting pretty high into these doubles right now. It's getting harder. We could even do eight plus eight. Okay, that's a, we're getting into much larger ones here. Eight plus eight would be 16. We can do nine plus nine, that's an even larger one. Nine plus nine is 18. And then our last one we're gonna write down is 10 plus 10 is 20. Okay. Those are called our doubles, okay? These are called our doubles. So we're going to be using double facts, but then we're gonna use something called double plus one. So it says add consecutive numbers by finding the sum of the double and adding one. Okay, what does consecutive numbers mean, friends? Consecutive means in next to each other. So let's, let's do an arrow down here. So in our example, right here, the consecutive numbers they have are two and three. Because if I count, I go one, two, three. Two and three are next to each other. Another consecutive number could be four, five. Because four and five, when you count, are next to each other. Another consecutive number could be eight and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're next to each other. That's what they mean by consecutive numbers, okay? So there are some examples. Okay, friends, I'm gonna get started. Now, if you weren't able to copy all this down with me, you might wanna copy it because you could use this to help you in the next few lessons. Okay, here is my first problem. My first problem gives me a table, which I drew, because theirs was a little bit too small for me, and they give me a double, and then they give me consecutive numbers. Okay, so what do I know? Well, I do know three and four are consecutive because if I count, I get one, two, three, four. They're right next to each other. Okay, so I know that I could say this four is the same as three and one. So I could add this as saying three plus three, because four is one more than three, plus one. That's what I have here. Because these are consecutive, I know that four is three, just one more. So kind of what I did is I kind of decomposed this four into three plus one. It's kind of what I did in a way. And then I have, so I could add my doubles here and say six 
and then one more because this is the same as three, but it's one more than three. So three plus four is six plus seven. I'm sorry, six plus one, which is seven. Okay, if that's seeming a little tricky, don't worry, we're gonna do quite a few of these together. So I know a double of three plus three is six, so I know three plus four must be one more than six because four is one more than three. So three plus four is seven. Okay, let's look at another one of those. Okay, this time I have six plus seven. This is my consecutive numbers, which means they're next to each other in counting order. Okay, well, what do I know? I know that seven is the same, it's just one more than six. So I could say six plus six plus one. So I could look at this as a double of six plus six and then seven is one more than six. So I have to add the extra one. Well, what is my doubles? What is six plus six equal? Six plus six, and if I don't know it, I could use this to help me. My doubles of six plus six are 12 plus one, which means 12 plus one is 13. So six plus six is 12, which means six plus seven must be one more than 12, which is 13. Okay. Let's try some of these together because I know that once we get used to them, they'll seem easy, but at first they're really, really tricky. Okay, we're on page 196, 196, and here is our first one. Okay, so our equation is five plus six, five plus six. Well, what do we know? We know five and six are consecutive numbers because if I count, I go one, two, three, four, five, six. They're, they're consecutive numbers, right in order. Okay, so what do we know about six? We know six is just one more than five. That's it, it's one more than five. So I could say five plus five plus one. So I could use my doubles of five plus five. So five plus five is 10, but I have one more, because six is one more than having a double. And what's 10 plus one? Well, 10 plus one more is 11. So if I knew that five plus five was 10, this would be a double. If I know that five plus five is 10, then I should know that five plus six is gonna be just one more, which would be 11, because six is just one more than five, okay? So knowing your doubles helps you know your doubles plus one more. Okay, let's look at my next one. Okay, so this time we have four plus four and four plus five, okay? So our goal, main one is four plus five. Well, those are consecutive numbers because one, two, three, four, five. Those aren't in order. Well, five is just four but one more. It's just one more than four, which means I could use my double strategy for four plus four, which is eight, and then add one more to it, which would give us nine. So if I know my doubles, if I know four plus four is eight, then I should know that four plus five, because this is a double but one more, one more than a double, would be one more than that, which is nine. Okay, so friends, when you do these, you probably wanna use your example to really look back at and help you. All right, have a wonderful day, bye-bye.